Hi everyone. In this SOLIDWORKS video, I'd like to talk about two commands that are useful for multi-body design. Multi-body design allows us to break up more complex parts into individual bodies, which on their own are simpler and quicker to model. The two commands I'd like to show today are combine and intersect. The first being combine. Combine has three functionalities. It allows us to add bodies together, subtract them from each other, or find their common volume. This functionality is sometimes referred to as constructive solid geometry, or CSG. To demonstrate these commands, I have a part here with two single solid bodies, a red cone and a green cylinder. To launch the combine command, I'll go to insert, features, combine. I'll set my operation type to add, and then I'll select both of my bodies and click on OK. The result is one single solid body, which I can verify by going to my tree and seeing that there's only one solid body listed now. Let's try another operation. I'll delete the command and start again. I'll go to Insert, Features, Combine. This time I'll use Subtract. And the order I select the bodies does matter here. So the first body I select will be the main body. In this case, that'll be the cone. The second body I select will be the body that I'd like to subtract from the main body, in this case, the cylinder. I can click on OK. I can see the result here is the cone now has a hole in it where the cylinder used to be. With this relatively simple example, this geometry could also be achieved by simply creating a cut extrude or a whole wizard feature. But we can also use much more complex bodies to give us more intricate cuts. Let's move on. I'll delete this feature and try another operation. I'll go insert, features, combine. This time I'll use the common operation. I'll select both of the bodies. I'll click on OK. And this new body is generated, which is the intersecting region where both the cone and the cylinder had material passing through. These are the three operations in the combine command, add, subtract, and common. Next, we'll move on to the intersect command. To demonstrate the intersect command, I'll again use this same cylinder cone part with two solid bodies. To launch the command, I'll go to Insert, Features, Intersect. I'll select both my bodies. I'll select the Create Both option for the most versatility. And then I'll hit my Intersect button. The Intersect command acts almost as a 3D analog to the power term operation and finds where the bodies intersect each other, giving me these different regions. I can see here with this example, I have four different regions. I can then choose to include or exclude any of these regions by either clicking on them from the list or clicking on them from the graphics area. Notice that as I move my mouse around, it will highlight individual regions. And I can choose to click on it to remove it. And I can remove or include as many regions as I'd like. If I click on a region and I'd like to bring it back, I can simply move my mouse over to the list and clear these checkboxes to bring back that specific region. With a relatively simple example like this, a lot of these combinations could also be achieved by using the combine command with either add, subtract, or common. For instance, if I exclude these three regions, this is the same result as using the common operation. However, for more complex parts or with more bodies, the intersect command can give us unique results that we could not achieve otherwise. I'll choose to bring back some of these regions. And then down below in the options, I can also choose to merge result. This will output these three regions as one single solid body instead of as three separate solid bodies. I can then click on OK, and that will complete my intersect command, giving me this unique solid body. 
One more example of the intersect command I can show will be in this next part, where I have two mold bodies. Right now, there's not much we can see with these mold bodies, but if I toggle their transparency, we can see that the cavity inside will give us this molded part shaped like a plate. Let's try using the intersect command here. I'll go insert, features, intersect. I'll select both of the bodies. Again, using the create both option and I'll click on intersect. Notice how even though these bodies do not intersect each other, I still get three regions. That's because one of these regions is actually formed as that internal cavity. If I click on both halves of the mold to exclude them, we can reveal the molded part inside as its own region. With this method, I can reverse engineer a mold to generate its molded part. I can click on OK. That'll complete the command, give me one single solid body representing that molded plate. In summary, the combine and intersect commands are two incredibly powerful and useful commands when doing multi-body design in SOLIDWORKS. Combine allows us to add, subtract, or find common volumes between bodies. These operations are sometimes called constructive solid geometry, while intersect acts almost as a power trim for 3D bodies. It can be used to find internal volumes, and it can also be used to reverse engineer molded parts. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more SOLIDWORKS videos, please check out the rest of our Hawker Systems YouTube channel.